Hi, I'm Naeem and I'm a control system engineer here at FBR. Um, today I'm out at Byford on our commercial build site. I'd heard about FBR a few years ago. My father-in-law actually showed me a video of them, one of the early trucks and uh, I just thought it was an amazing concept and so cool. I got contacted by FBR about a year ago and um, I was working in mining on autonomous mining equipment and um, I just loved the idea and I thought it was such a cool challenge and, and something really different and, um, and here in Perth as well. When I'm on site, I'm, my responsibility is to monitor the operations of the Hadrian. Uh, behind me is my office, the, the Hadrian van that, that sometimes people will see out on site. We are constantly deploying new improvements to the Hadrian, so it's not like a it's not like an ordinary piece of construction equipment that you buy once and that's what you get. We really want to evolve and improve the system, so there's a heap of improvements that we've made since the Dayton build. So we're here monitoring those improvements and making sure everything's going to plan. So far we're, we're on track. We had some pretty rough weather at the start of the build, but the Hadrian really performed well through that and DST was able to handle um, some really high winds and some pretty poor conditions. There are some new challenges on this build with the double leaf wall. So we've done quite a bit of testing back at HQ in, in preparation for this and um, yeah, we're confident that we can get it done and get it done safely. The client had some, some new requirements for us. So um, things like the, the window sizes were, um, were set for us. We, we couldn't optimize some of those positions. So we had to adapt our system to make that. If you're a keen observer, you'll notice there's actually some new brick sizes that we've never never cut before. We had to do that just to make um, all the walls line up and all the windows line up nicely. So there was a lot of design work that went into that from our team. Uh, we also sped up a, a lot of the equipment. Uh, the transfer robot, which is in the base of the machine, after the Dayton build, we analyzed, um, we, we capture a lot of data about the performance of the machine and we analyzed that, we found that it, it was not really operating to its full potential, so we've improved that and, and that translates here to some, some really good lay rates. The Hadrian, it, it's not a normal bit of construction equipment, so we are constantly deploying new features and changes in, in response to our clients' needs. Since Dayton, we, we only had about four weeks to, to improve the machine before we moved into the GP Vivienda builds and, and now here. And in that time, we developed approximately about 30 different new features and, and changes which we've tested and deployed. One of the great things about our system is we can actually do those offline. We don't always need access to the Hadrian to make improvements to the Hadrian. We've got a full simulation environment that the engineers can use. So we actually um, can virtually build a house and test and refine our improvements so that when we get access to the valuable machine, we make sure it works as, as best we can first time. It's really gratifying to be, to be on site and, and building a house or a structure for a, a real client. I mean, the clients come through a few times and just been so stoked with, with what, what we're producing for them. And there's a lot of new challenges and we learn a heap. Like me personally, I haven't been on a commercial building site before, before this job. So um, it's a lot of fun and we, we're learning a lot and working hard.